new Spider-Man is out, but check it. There's stuff that no one is talking about. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. It's lying. Yeah, but is this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think, I think it's the unplugged version. All right, power, let's go. Okay, Polly here back on the Latino slant. Let's get your nerd on. Let's get the hats on. Let's get the tin foil. Get it going because we're going to talk uh, some theories, some, uh, you know, uh, rumors and all that good stuff. What am I talking about? Spider-Man, the new trailers out within the first hour on Twitter, 10 million views. And the debacle that was before that, a, a fan made one a F, that was fake and was pretty good but also to uh, a really crappy one recorded on recorded on a phone and <laughs> hilarity ensued but we got some info here we got some info but i i gotta gather my latino merry band merry band of nerds to get through this info i can't do it alone i'm not gonna do it alone we have diego from midnight edge espanol geek tropology from geek tropology oh <laughs> we okay What's up? Talk to me. Okay. It's important to understand that uh, today there was wackiness because the leak, there was a leak of the trailers, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then they finally released the official trailer just now. And we've been seeing certain things in the trailer showing confirmation to other rumors that have been circulating around our, our sort of neck of the woods for a while. Mm -hmm. Amongst give them, mm -hmm. like, to Pablo. To give context to that context, because if we go full on, <laughs> we are still too far. Right. Uh, they announced that they will be uh, rolling this trailer on Comic Con um, only for the people on that band. And this was not supposed to go out. And like a lot of trailers that have leaked from Comic Con, just add another one to the list. But Instead of going like, yeah, wake a couple of uh, months, don't say anything, just avoid any controversy. They launched the trailer the same day, like, go ahead. <laughs> it's here, yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Just on the door of Shang-Chi. <laughs> right. Like, yes. Bearing Shang-Chi, any momentum, which had been getting momentum as far as stories, and uh eternals who you know i mean it's it's spider-man yeah. so what what do we got diego okay so during the trailer there is one moment where we see no none other than uh toby mcguire's own doc Ock by mm -hmm. our own molina and he mentions looking at tom holland saying hello peter and we have to remember tom holland is not his peter parker he knows who Peter Parker is, and also he had the Green Goblin's bomb right there. And we, yeah, we, and we heard. Mm, we Goblin. have the pumpkin bomb, and we have the yeah. dog. We, I but love the, the costume. Is, yes, and I yeah. said the fact is he recognized. He said hello, Peter, but because it's not from the same universe, it confirms something that we already knew before. Tommy Maguire most likely is in this in this movie because mm -hmm. his reaction is not something like ah. So you're this Peter Parker. It's hello, Peter, like clearly talking to somebody he knows. Mm -hmm. So most likely the editing was done where they put Tom Holland and they don't reveal Tobey Maguire. Either he's in the same scene or this is another scene and they're trying to build up the hype of, of this, but confirming something we already knew. Also something that has been circulating the, the net, which is that J.B. Smooth, the actor who plays Tom Holland's teacher, had an interview and he confirms textually that Tobey Maguire is participating in the project. So where did you find this, this story at? Uh, with J.B. Smooth, the actor he was in. He's a uh, comedian actor from uh, Kirby Enthusiasm, a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about this uh, website and what it says. Okay, uh, this is Tomatazo. It's basically a, it's a, like a news website dedicated to entertainment in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, a little bit down in the, in the article, there is a mention of the interview. And there, there's a question that they make to him right there in that paragraph. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, no, that's explanation. No, it's the next one, I think. Right. That's oh, the explanation. Is. 
Yeah, it says announcing and maybe confirming the return of Tobey Maguire as uh, right. Spider-Man. Right. Mm -hmm. In an interview with JB actor JB Smooth, who plays uh, the prof the teacher for Tom Holland Spider Man. And here's the question. Go for it. Um, so the question here in in Spanish says, uh, "Which Spider Man are you most excited to see and to share the screen with Tom Holland?" Mm -hmm. And the interviewer uh, added something important, like a trap in the question, where he asked the uh, the actor to choose between Tobey Maguire and Garfield, mm -hmm. getting the next uh, the next answer. Maguire, of course, man. Uh, because uh, so basically, confirm sort of saying he wants to be with Maguire, mm -hmm. but not giving more context, right? Right. But still, mm -hmm. it's the fact that we have this trailer with this uh, Doc Ock, and then mm -hmm. this interview where clearly he says Maguire, you know, on the trap, mm -hmm. which most likely is something already said because this wouldn't go out without Feige's own, you know, okay. Yeah. It's sort of it's sort of giving more foundation to the idea that the rumors were true we would mm -hmm. have at least another spider-man with tom holland we still don't have any confirmation in garfield but with this and also jamie fox returning as shocker mm -hmm. i i think it's more and more becoming clear that actually we're going to have all Sp the three spider-men of the 21st century in this movie in one now, way or another um now real fast like basically what else does this article say like real fast more than anything is sort of how he is, is just the the, the whole st uh, movie in the general you know how they've been trying to keep the leaks uh mm -hmm. about because they're choosing because of the whole rumors of toby Maguire and andrew garfield have been going around they even asked Gar uh, andrew garfield one time and he reacted in a very aggressive manner like saying i'm tired of you guys asking me right right i remember that mm -hmm. um okay so my initial feeling pablo and diego is that it would be so underwhelming if doc ock and this doc ock was talking to tom holland mm -hmm. it would be emotionally completely disappointing i think they're stacking their cards up to make this the greatest superhero movie yet to bring back Toby and Doc Ock together would just be stupendous. Mm -hmm. Geektropology, what do you think? Okay, uh, let's begin with, yeah, they are bringing back one of the billion from the one, let's say, if not the best, the second best uh, superhero movie of all time, uh, Spider-Man 2, mm -hmm. right? Also, sure. this is uh, Spider-Man into the Sonyverse. That's the title that I will mm. give uh, to this, right? Mm -hmm. Other than that, uh, I'll go full on on what I'm seeing about uh, the context of the story and everything. They are going with um, One More Day, a comic that I really, really hate because he, it betrays uh, Peter Parker. Uh, it's 2007, a uh, four-part arc where Peter Parker basically sells his soul after Civil War where he is on the Captain... Uh, no, he turns into the Captain America side before he was on the Iron Man side. Uh, but on the Iron Man side, he reveals uh, to the public his, his identity. Because of that, Aunt May go, uh, gets shot by yeah. someone hired by the Kingpin. So he deals with the devil to erase that and get his identity back into uh, the shadows. But doing that, he raises uh, his marriage uh, with Mary Jane and the possibility mm -hmm. of he uh, having this small little girl that is uh, with him throughout the comic, right? That is when uh, Spider-Man dies. So this, uh, to Spider-Man fans, directly sting to the core. This is something that felt like eyes in the back, right? Something mm. really bad there. But mm -hmm. then you have a Doc Ock from the Raimi Bears. Really cool. Really good seeing him. Uh, mm -hmm. You get uh, the pumpkin uh, bomb from the Green Goblin. And also you are getting Electro. They didn't show Electro. So you have three of the Sinister Six. You are missing Sandman. You are missing um, the Bolter. Mm -hmm. Right, but that 
some people say that actually uh, the lizard is there. They have seen something about the bolter. I don't know what's going on. Some people are seeing mm -hmm. Easter eggs that I don't see, and that's mm -hmm. crazy. And that's mentioning great. Well, Easter mentioning eggs. Mentioning that. So JB Smooth in that article in that in that interview was alluding to Toby Maguire is his Spider Man, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that would be amazing that if he would be in this uh movie but you know feige doesn't do anything by accident and you have a theory uh here what am i what are what are we uh what are we looking at here okay um what you see here is a scene from one division specifically in the episode where vision's boss is going to come with his wife to dinner at the house and there's a, a mark on the 23rd of august Again, hear it clearly. 23rd of August. What day is it? Uh, haven't they moved the date of this event a couple of times this past that's couple the, of months? Was this an insert, though? Now, this is from, no, I mean, this is from the, the, the series the TV itself. Show, the series. I know, yep. But in the TV show, it was, it would it would have been easy to insert this shot? So if you're saying they they keep moving it back, this this was just released only a few months ago. Mm -hmm. It would have been easy to to insert that the shot. No, it is there. I let's say I had access to the original version that they showed for the first time on Disney Plus, and is there? Is no, that, no, mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying, bro. Is that yeah. it, that that was only you know. Uh, Big, big er, beginning of the year. By then, mm -hmm. Faggy, Faggy's probably said, "You got August twenty third. That's when I want the trailer out." Boom. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So that's yep. your theory, Diego. Yes, that's why I think that the whole leak is not necessarily a leak, mm -hmm. like natural leak. It was actually more of a they allow people to see it and to leak it out to the general audience, and then they have the response of Sony trying to ban it. Just so then after they put the, the trailer out and start building the hype. Because this movie has two important roles. One, Spider-Man, which most people actually enjoy from the MCU right now. It has the one mm -hmm. with most potential. But it also because it clearly connects to the Doctor Strange movie and the, the Multiverse of Madness. Which is the other movie most people are expecting. You know, they're most excited. Yeah. So it's already right. starting the machine for people to build the hype in preparation for those two movies. If that's true, that will be the worst thing that I don't want to curse. But if Disney did remove Doctor Strange from the ending of WandaVision, they destroyed this Easter egg to hell. Well, there you have it, guys. Um from the article of DB Smooth, an interview with him saying that Toby is his man and that Toby and Doc Ock should be in this movie. We know Doc Ock is from the trailer, but if yeah, I, I would be holding my cards, you know, I would not put my, the best stuff in that trailer. And I don't think the best stuff is in that trailer. It's a pretty decent trailer. Um, and then Diego's got his uh, WandaVision theory with that date. And that would be interesting. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, you can catch uh, a Spanish version of this on Midnight's Edge Espanol. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, keep your slant. Fuerte. We'll see you. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. The slant? Yeah, but isn't this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think... I think it's the unplugged version. Uh, power, let's go. Alright, listen, y'all. Just go ahead and let the guest play. Come on, cheese.